Excuse me, if that happened now, you would have a lot of dead people. We're screwed. So what you had, there's this period called, you might have heard of it, the Younger Dryas. It was this episode that brought the Ice Age to an end. Because of astronomical forces, the Earth, its tilt, the, the shape of its orbit, and so on, its distance from the sun, there are gradually accumulating changes in the amount of thermal energy reaching the surface of the Earth. Generally, the thought was that these Milankovitch forces what were behind the period of glaciation and deglaciation. The problem is they play out over tens of thousands of years. In order to get rid of that ice, it requires energy. You don't melt six million cubic miles of ice without some source of energy to do the work. How could it, you know, five, six thousand years, we thought it was a hundred thousand years, but now, Radiocarbon dating is showing us that it's happened one tenth or one, you know, twentieth of the time. How do you explain that? They called it the energy paradox because in 73, 74, there were several conferences held, several papers written in which they identified the energy paradox and they couldn't come up with an answer. The point is, is that this energy had to have come from somewhere. So what are the possibilities? Wait, so the, the energy that melted this, these miles of glacial ice mm -hmm. that covered a lot of the Earth's surface, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we don't know that happened. It wasn't just because it got sunnier out. No, unless the sun was involved on some level exponentially beyond anything we've experienced. Right, that is not now. Right. But it wasn't just like we had a hot August one year. No. No. Okay.